Hey there guys, Kevin here with my comic reviews this week. I got to read Uncanny X-Men number one by the incomparable Brian Michael Bendis and Chris Piccolo. Uh, first off, I gotta say, Chris Piccolo, our work on this book was kind of, uh, I was a little trepidatious towards it because I was not sure how I would feel about it. The last time I read a relaunch of an X book with Chris Piccolo and artwork, it didn't look that great. I mean, it looked awesome in his style, but it, it wasn't clear, it was muddy. It was like, I couldn't tell where the action was starting, where it was ending, where this was at. It just, it just was too much. This book was really clean. It was really, uh, uh, it didn't have a lot of that. It had a lot of cool action scenes, but it didn't cloud up too much. It didn't not make sense. It made, everything was clear and I don't know. It was just, it was actually a really cool like palette that he used. And uh, it, it was a really, really good looking book. I will just leave it at that. Uh, the story has been kind of, building up in the other X-Books uh, the last couple of months. So if you haven't been reading that, you might be a little shaky on it, especially if you didn't read uh, Avengers vs. X-Men. But if you are caught up on that, holy crap, this issue is awesome. It has this crazy awesome ending. It's kind of like a Brian Michael Bendis staple, the way he introduces this dude who's telling you all this stuff about this character. You're, you're finding this out. Oh my God, it's crazy. And then you find out who it is at the end, which is cool. You don't have to wait until four events happen to find out who it is. You find out right away, but still jaw dropping moment. Holy crap, I can't wait to see where this goes. Five out of five nerd skulls, man. Holy crap. Wow.